Solve the exponential equation using the method of relating the bases by first rewriting the equation in the form b to the u equals b to the v. So with the method of relating the bases, we start by writing the equation as b to the u equals b to the v, and then we can use the one-to-one -one property of exponents our exponential functions to say that the exponent on the left must equal the exponent on the right. So this allows us to simplify the equation and continue solving. The equation we'd like to use this property on is 5 to the x squared over 25 to the x equals 125. So we want to start by making the bases the same and I am going to take a closer look at the bases that I have. I have a base of 5, a base of 25, and a base of 125. Notice that these all end in 5, and these also happen to be powers of 5. 5 is 5 to the first power, 25 is 5 to the second power, and 125 is 5 to the third power. So it seems like 5 would be a good base to transition to. So I'm going to rewrite all of the bases with base 5. That would give 5 to the x squared. 25 is 5 squared. And we need to carry down that x, the exponent of x. And I'll write 125 as 5 to the third power. I'm going to use a property of exponents to simplify. And the property that I'm going to use is called the power rule for exponents. And the power rule for exponents deals with the situation where you have a base to a power, and then that whole expression is raised to a power. And when you have this situation, you simplify by multiplying the powers together. So b to the m to the n is b to the m times n. So to simplify what I have highlighted in yellow there, we would have 5 to the 2x, because 2 times x can be written as 2x. The others I'll copy down. I'm going to use another property of exponents to simplify the left-hand side of this equation. We're going to use a property called the quotient rule for exponents. And the quotient rule deals with this situation where you have b, a base to a power, divided by that same base to a power. So the base b to the m over b to the n. And when you have this situation when you're dividing exponential expressions with the same base, you're going to simplify by subtracting the exponents. That's b to the m minus n. So let me draw an arrow and we'll continue simplifying up here. On the left-hand side, I would have 5 to the x squared minus 2x, applying that quotient rule for exponents. I'm going to copy down the right-hand side. So I'm finally at the point that was described in the directions of this problem, where we have the base being the same on both sides. So I'm able to simplify this equation by saying that the exponents must be equal to each other. The bases are the same, so the exponent on the left must equal the exponent on the right. So that gives x squared minus 2x equals 3. This is a quadratic equation, and I'll move all the terms to the same side. And I'll solve this quadratic by factoring, but you're welcome to use a different method. 
like the quadratic formula if you prefer. So x times x is x squared. 3 times 1 is 3, and I need to create a middle term of negative 2. And I would do that by having a negative 3 and a positive 1. Once I get it factored, I'm going to set each factor equal to 0 and solve. That gives x equals 3 and x equals negative 1. So these are the solutions to the exponential equation, x equals 3 and negative 1. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.